hey beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Adeze, and today i really want to talk to you people about one of the things that happened during my time of healing like if you haven't watched the video i did on exposing kevin l ewing <laughs> teachings then you are missing out you need to go see that video because that video i think it has over over five thousand views as 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 at right now yeah so one of the things that happened like if you go to that video you understand some of the things and of course i did another video on where i discussed how i got healed right and if you haven't seen that one so please go and see it so you can better understand what i'm about to say so today i want to talk to us about how i left catholicism how i left the catholic church i would I, do, I wouldn't want to delay this topic no more because the more I wait for the perfect time to do this video, the more <laughs> I will most likely not get a perfect time to do it. So anytime your spirit is being stayed up to do something, I think you should just go ahead and do it. What do you think, guys? So if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do where to subscribe. This motivates us like it motivates us to do more yes and of course if you find our channel useful if you love what we're doing please do what to tell us on the comment section because guys it also gets to motivate us it also gets to let us know that yes we are doing a good job we're doing a lot's job like <laughs> people are literally loving what they are hearing okay so we're not here to actually preach what you love but we are here to tell you the truth okay so irrespective of what you feel, the truth will always remain the truth. Whether it's, it sounds nice in your ears or it sounds bad in your ears, the truth remains the truth. So today I want to tell you guys on how I left the Catholic Church. Stay tuned. Okay, so guys, um, I actually had, like I said on my other um, teachings, like the last two videos that has Mr. Kevin on it, um i had this i was sick for a while though and guys one of the things that god does that is amazing is that he gets to allow us have a taste of so many things so that when he tells us this we can listen and guys like that's exactly what happened with me like i was born into a catholic family i was raised you know the catholic way i got baptized there which by god's grace i am working on that right now to to get baptized because that wasn't baptism okay and guys i i know that god is gonna have it done like there's nothing impossible like i know that god is gonna do that for me okay and guys like when i was going through a face like i literally has had lots of faces <laughs> uh that particular one was the one that led to my conversion that was not led to my relationship with the most high so during that period like i like i told i said on those on that um how i got healed video i was actually doing everything 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 humanly possible everything churchly possible everything religiously possible to get my healing but it never happened until of course i came to relationship with, with god which obviously led to my healing and all that so during this period there was something that happened that was significant to me when god asked me to get rid of the idol i had in my house what was the idol those the these um images of mary joseph and all that you know that catholics they keep it in their home and god said do not have any image any grieving image of any kind be it in heaven on the earth and the sea wherever do not have no images okay but i had an altar quote unquote i built i had it in my house like i made an altar where i placed those things because after all come on you know so um while i was ill and i was crying for healing god asked me to get rid of the altar and i was like what and at that point i wasn't believing that i was hearing the voice of god no more because it was crazy i mean this this power that is now residing in me is asking me like is now like the word of god is literally being more clear to me by asking me like to get rid of those things like some people be like how did you get to, how did he say it he said it via the um, via the things i was feeling it was like an echoing in my mind it was like a voice that i could not it was this is this force that there's no way i could 
I could literally hear. I could literally, like, I don't even know how to put it. Like, I don't want to say somebody was saying something to me, but it's like somebody was... <laughs> I don't know how to put it like your heart like each time you feel that thing you your heart to just burst like my goodness like you know at the point I said I was fighting back and fighting back I was I wasn't gonna do that you know because after all this is what I grew up knowing and at the point I had to begin to pray I began to pray say father it is not it ain't you talking to me this can be you because I have a place I made up a God in my mind right a God that I want to fit in I want to fit in my relationship with him with Catholicism and there's no place that one of them can work together I has to choose one and so while I was praying I was still getting that dream I was having dreams back to back I was still getting that um that feeling that voice that word at a point i had to if i did it, i got rid of the altar from my house i opened the scriptures i told god father if you are the one saying these things to me can you please confirm your word and it took me to somewhere in ezekiel i can't remember but it's something about idol i think i wrote it down somewhere but i'm gonna look for it maybe i'm gonna so this place is talking about it said arise stretch O daughter of zion and if you read all the way down you're gonna see what he was saying to me and i had to get rid of i had to i pack i piled up those things i placed it in the bag and immediately i did that i had a voice telling me something like this now you think i am the one in that bag <laughs> and that was crazy guess what guys immediately i heard that motion that i heard that voice in my heart so now you think i'm the one on the bag like you packed me in a bag that tells you that i have nothing to do with idolatry i have nothing to do with idols you are the one that made up like your catholicism has you know i don't i have nothing to do with what they are doing right there those that worship me should worship me in truth and in spirit and when i heard those words like i was not studying i was at this point like i've i've already done opening the bible and the bible asked me a right stretch or daughter of zion that's one of the things that the first lines of the bible that i could remember i'm going to go look for that scripture and then i now packed those things and i placed it in a bag and immediately i placed it in a bag i heard a voice say to me so now you believe that the, the what you have in that bag is the most high, like it's God. You know, obviously that isn't me. <laughs> so like that, that kind of gave me goosebumps. I had this feeling like all over me that, what is this? All oh, my body began to shake. My system changed, my, my taste, everything about my body changed instantly. I had to go pick up that stuff if at, at a point i left it in one of my flats in my place because it didn't just left there i left it in that flat and to tell you how religion religion is gonna <laughs> religion is a disease i'm telling you even though those things were happening to me even though the voice was clear even though the scripture said so i could not i wasn't leaving it because this is what I grew up with, right? This is what I, that is what I was used to at that point. So I piled up these things, I packed them, and I took them to an empty flat in my place. And guess what? I could not rest. I could not sleep. I, I was restless. Until I went back and brought it back to my own flat. <laughs> oh, Father. Religion is a disease. I tell you, I tell you, religion is a disease. I then, after I did that, I brought it back to my flat. Later, I can't even, what happened later? What happened? Uh, that day, in fact, the day that I can't, re like, I left it for some days there and I brought it back to my flat. And I went back to God again, praying. And I started saying, Father, I, are you sure about this? Are you sure? Should I, should I really do this? <laughs> religion can finish you off like it can literally be with you like it can do it can ruin your mind and i picked up the bible again the same scripture the same thing like god is literally telling you do what i ask you to do else you will not have peace because you are my child i'm not gonna share you with nobody and so immediately i saw that place again because i, I did not like 
I literally read there and covered it and piled up things and took it to the other flat. And that day, I <laughs> I brought it back to my flat after some few days, and I went back to the scriptures. Boom! I packed these things. I went outside my 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 um my compound. I took the next bike. Like what I was supposed to do was to burn up those things, but because I was new in the faith and I really didn't get know a lot of things i what i did was i returned it to the church where i bought it guys when i got there i got there i dropped it there and immediately i took off i told the bike man wait for me I, like i'm not somebody that take bike people who know me knows that i do not take bike like i don't like it but guys to that day i biked i biked from my place to the church i dropped it i just went there and dumped it I jumped on the bike back and take him and tell him to take me home. And when I got to my house, I felt peace. I felt ease. I felt like there's something heavy that has left the house. There's this serene environment. There's this beautiful fresh air that I could breathe. Even though I was still having some kind of feeling because, come on, listen, deliverance is a process. It is not like this. You know all of a sudden like they show you in their in their churches deliverance does not happen by out 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 it doesn't happen that way mm -mm. deliverance is a process because if god does not take you through those process you're going to go back to your vomit it's something that is done little by little he takes you up high i'm telling you out of my own experience all right he takes you up high and then you come up high and like there's this way he does this thing that is so beautiful he understands where you are he understands your position he understands your level he understands like he knows everything about you so he he takes it there is a point in my life i'm in that place right now where if i don't do what like if i don't literally agree to okay by his stripes i am healed i'm gonna keep getting beaten on my life i'm no longer in the place where god is petting me i'm in a place where i have to agree <laughs> but then he was like it was so easy he would flog me i would cry and then he would tell me it's okay it's okay my love it's okay my love so he kept on taking it little by little little by little until i got it okay but right now i mean there are different stages to this thing i mean i thank god for those people who are working with christ i thank god for those who have been in this for years because I tell you, brothers and sisters, it is not even funny. God is a God of straightforwardness. He's so, like, our Father is, he, like, He's very organized. There, there, is, there, are, there are different realms to these things. There are different levels to these things. He's not going to give you the job that, like, you know, that when He shared the talents, He gave some persons. Um, is it two talents? He gave five. He gave the other ten. You know, he's going to give you according to what you can do. And there is nobody bigger than the other in the kingdom. Everybody is unique in their own way. As long as our father is concerned. So guys, as I returned, that, that was the first step. Later, I began to immediately, like, I used to tell you that these things are spiritual. I started having dreams about the Catholic Church. Sometimes I would be in the dream that Reverend Father would be on the altar. He called me to come up to the altar and i wake up from these dreams i begin to resist i begin to cancel because now i understood that at that point i now understood that yes there's something wrong with this church so i cannot associate myself with it no more in fact when we when we left the catholic church officially myself and my husband we wrote a letter to the catholic church denouncing catholicism there's a friend of mine she's in the u.s she told me that the church she went to is more or less like that. Is she actually also a Catholic church? She told me that uh, these things are very serious. That it's not a joke. Because I began to see these things manifest in my dreams. I would be in the dream. They would call me up to the altar. The Reverend Father would tell me, come here. You know, come and hold this for me. You know, things like that was happening in my dream. So I understood at that point because Mr. Kevin is teaching a lot of teachings on dreams. So I now began to understand that trying to reconvenance me. They're trying to strengthen the covenants in the Catholic church with me so i began to when i each time i wake up i will cancel i will renounce i will reject and all that however 
I got to understand that I have to really denounce these people like completely as I'm doing it spiritually I have to do it physically as well so I went and I wrote I wrote a letter myself and my husband went and submitted it to the church the one that is the closest parish to us I guess the man thought maybe it was an envelope of money <laughs> but when he must have opened it he would have seen the letter denouncing Catholicism so we denounced it we said no we do not want you people anymore in our life we belongs to the one and only true god the god of abraham isaac and jacob so we are denouncing this church but guess what these dreams never ceased it continued but i was beginning to understand that the more you walk with god the more the devil comes for you so each time i have these dreams i'll fast i'll pray about it i'll cancel them and i cancel every evil agreement it kept on and on and today i can only but thank god that i left the catholic church there's a lot of things that i can't even say that not that i can't even say that a lot of things i can't even remember that happened around that some of my friends began to leave me you know people that felt that oh what is she what is she saying what is she doing who does she think she is how can she leave the catholic church how can she say that there's something wrong with the catholic church of uh, which which god is she's going she's serving she's not the true servant of the most high she's just lying and deceiving herself like a lot of people said a lot of things about me and my family and I, lo I lost a lot of friends like a lot of people that would literally you know chat with call you know do things with they literally said no no baby girl don't talk to us no more and guess what the joy of the lord is my strength i never ever look for them because guess what it's okay to lose people it is okay for people to go their way it is okay for people to say no to you get used to the no's you have god you have everything so what else you have i'm blessed i'm so blessed i have besties all over me like my kids they are everything like god literally i'm blessed the prince of the living god is is right here in my heart i have him he's my comforter like there's no there's no no offense i'm not offended <laughs> I, i'm literally not offended there's nothing they can do to get to me because the joy that i have in doing this thing for the sake of the kingdom the joy that i have in knowing that i am taking the right path is enough human beings are not going to be my judge on the last day if I, they are going to stand with me, we are going to all line up to be judged by the Most High. So why should I bother about them? I rather pray. I say, Father, let my life be an example to them. Let them see me and say, mm, something is going on with this girl. You know, let them see me and say, there's something different about her. That's all I prayed for. And it's happening. So every other thing is a no-no for me. <laughs> every other thing looking for friendships, trying to, you know, fit in. It is not me. I've never been a person that is even into relationships. Like, people, like a, yeah, I talk to people, but, you know, they started giving me, you know, and I just, no problem. No problem. The joy of the Lord is all that I, I, I live for. I'm not looking for no human being. As I'm right here sitting in my home, like, you're not there. But the Holy Spirit is right here with me. The presence of the Most High is right here with me. His angels are right here. And that's enough for me. Like, when I begin to make new friends, and they come back and they say, wow, you look different. There's something about you. I say, yeah. Should I introduce you to my God once again? That is the joy of knowing, of walking, of being obedient to God. Because guess what? These people are watching. They are watching to see me fail. They are watching to see what happens next. They are watching to see if that sickness has killed her. But my God said no. My daughter stands tall because I am her. I am with her. I get back in. I'm backed by the Most High. I'm not. It's not a mouth. It is the truth. And the truth is the only thing that can set us free. If God is with us, then who can be against us? Who can be against us? I literally left this church because they have nothing to do with Christ. I might be saying what pisses you off because maybe you're among them and you're like, why are you being like that? How dare you talk about God did not say we should judge. Don't judge. Do not judge. God said do not judge righteously. He never asked us. If 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 it do not judge why is why did king what's up with these people what's up with the people he used in the scriptures why did he make jeremiah speak these things over the people if god is not the god of judgment if he's not the one that see god always has mouthpiece 
Moses told Pharaoh, if you don't take your hands off the children of God, God is going to do this to you. You can't tell Moses, why are you judging? Leave him. Why are you judging Pharaoh? Why are you being like that? Leave them alone now. No. We have judges. We have even female judges like Deborah and the likes. Miriam, she was a prophetess. These people were God's mouthpiece and they come and tell you, repent. They come and tell you, do it like this. Do it like that. God says, do it like so. God says, judgment is coming. So when I tell you the truth, I'm judging. Okay, let it be judgment. But guess what? The final judgment belongs to God. We are not judging. We are telling you the truth. And yes, we are allowed to judge, but we must judge righteously. You must do it the right way. You shouldn't just come and accuse people. Make sure you're saying the truth. And I'm telling my personal story. And we can weigh the Catholicism with the Bible and see the differences like it's clear. So when you come for me, you come for the Bible. The word of God is clear. There are no ups and downs in, this word, in the word of God. It's as clear as crystal. Whether you believe it or not, the truth remains the truth. You can't do nothing about it. You can change the truth. You see, it is only the truth that can set us all free. And if you like, don't believe. It's, it's not a big deal. It's your life, right? But we serve a God that whether you believe him or not, you're going to stand before him on the last day. So what if it is truth? What if what she's saying is the truth? What are you going to do? <laughs> you have the Bible. You have the Holy Spirit. You have the most, the, you have the Father. You have the Son. You have, you have the angels. You have people. There are people that should be in your cycle. Because when you walk with the right people, you're going to grow more and become better. You shouldn't do a relationship with, when God kept on, have you studied the scriptures and see what God does with his children? Like when he kept on repeating the fact that the children of Israel should not behave like the Canaanites. The land is, I'm, going to, I'm giving to you, do not behave like them. Do not do what they are doing. He said, do not even have married with them. Don't marry them. That is how serious it is. So what will you tell me that? <laughs> I mean, I don't understand. Can you please hear yourself? It is important, like, relationships are beautiful when you do it with the right people. Everybody's not for you. And if you walk with the wrong psyche, you're going to ruin your life before. For um, enmity with Christ is friendship with the devil, whether you like it or not. <laughs> you cannot say you're not a criminal, but you're following criminals. You cannot say you're not a thief, or you're following. You cannot begin to say that. You have to learn. Like, when you have the right relationship, you will now learn that, okay, when you move with the right people, you guys can come together to do things together and I can save those ones you want to go and be with. <laughs> do you understand the difference now? So, when you have a nutshell, just let God lead you. Don't just do things on your own. Don't just say, because I want to be, I want to um, wear the latest clothes to church on Sunday so that people can see me and say that. Listen. Me, Adaisi, I am not deceived by your clothes. I'm not deceived by you wearing clothes in church on Sunday. I am not. In fact, when I see you, I'm going to weigh you. I'm going to sit back and observe you. Observe the way you're behaving, the way you talk, the way you do things. And your fruit will tell me whom you are. Do you understand me? Your fruit will let me know whom you are. So for the fact that you, you're carrying Bible on Sunday and you're off to church every Sunday making noise, it doesn't, <laughs> it's not me you're talking to. I weigh you by what my father, by the principles of the word of God, by what my father said I should weigh you with. So if you're not doing what he said you should do, you're only deceiving yourself. Do you understand that? So there's a lot of things that happened around that and guess what? I began to, in fact, one of the dreams that I had that was significant was one of the dreams that I was in my village. I, in fact, I'm going to do that. That's, um, I'm going to do a teaching on that dream because it's a very, very huge dream. <laughs> it was a powerful one. Yeah. And I had a lot of dreams during this time, like loads and loads of them. And I'm going to be sharing those dreams soon on this channel. So if you find what... Well, if you love what we're doing, please do it. Share, 
like comment let people see what we're doing here so that you know a lot of people can come learn because you never can tell who you're gonna touch with these videos you never can tell there, there could be somebody there trying to you know maybe god is asking them to leave the church where they are residing it mustn't be a catholic church it can be any other church that god is asking them to leave and they're busy dragging the thing you know having cold feet towards leaving that church trying to be all righteous by themselves and all that this video could change their mind this video could you know touch them to make the decision to like yes it's time for me to leave this first church so if you're going to any church in fact as you're seeing this video please go on your knees and pray to the most high tell father father if the church i'm attending right now is not proper it's not good for me if you're not there please let me know reveal it to me and show me where to and even if you want me to sit back in my house let me know because the truth is that a lot of people are getting are becoming better by learning and studying for themselves learning like i do not just learn and study for myself i listen to some people that god has aligned me to listen to pastors like pastor kevin la ewing teachers like the um living waters um bro the the um aoc network that's an amazing place to go learn i listen to um teachers like um Williams Cheney Shereb. I don't know if I called that name right. <laughs> He's a very wonderful teacher. In fact, he was a priest in the Catholic Church and he left the Catholic If he tells you things about Catholicism, you will cry. <laughs> You'll be like, what? You know, he was actually a bishop. He got to the bishop level before he left. And then, um, before God called him out, rather. And then, um, which other which other channels should I recommend? You can go search them on YouTube. They are amazing, amazing, powerful men and women of God, right there. Motivating you to win is amazing. This is Sharon. Of course, we have um, what is this channel that I usually go to? Um, Apostle Eli Lasky. Guys, every day you play those words, those words will literally. Oh my goodness, that man is a man of god by the grace of god okay i also am recommending um these are the people that god have allowed me to listen to the past these past years and yes it's been amazing my life my mindset everything has changed who else should i recommend okay let me see if i can make more recommendations like i mentioned kevin pastor Pastor Kevin L. Ewing, I mentioned Living Living Waters. Of course, Living Waters is a great, like, it's so beautiful to watch him interview people and all that. And of course, I mentioned uh, William Shinishira. I don't know if I called it well, right? Okay, but just go check him out. He's an old man with long beards, <laughs> has a white long beard. He used to be a Catholic priest before he got converted. Of course, um, Sister Sharon of Motivating You to Win she's got she's doing so well wow of course aoc network run by brother jerry amazing spectacular beautiful and i want to recommend a documentary for you guys there's this documentary that says um messiah 20 messiah 2030 is it messiah 2030 or messiah 20 <laughs> messiah um yeah, Messiah 2030. Yeah. Messiah 2030. That's an amazing documentary. Like this guy collates the word of God with the coming back of Jesus. Like he literally would just read and like it's so amazing. Just go check it out yourself. You're going to love the documentary. It's amazing. It's eye opening. And who knows what is going to happen? Only God knows, right? And then, of course, I'm going to recommend. Um, I'm going to recommend that. Um, oh, I think there's this person that I'm, my heart is trying to, <laughs> there's this channel my heart is trying to call out and I'm not, uh, like, I really need to recall, right? I really need to recall. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so I can't remember that right now. I can't remember, I know that I have a lot of them that are amazing, yeah. Stay blessed, guys. There's a lot or more maybe some of my subsequent teachings i can just chip in something that happened how um, about leaving the catholic church here and there yeah so stay tuned if you're not subscribed to our youtube channel please do well to subscribe because by the grace of god there's a lot of things that are gonna happen god is a lot of things that are gonna be taking place in this place 
stay blessed guys i'll see you on my next video god bless you yeah